There's a saying that it takes a village, but when it comes to a huge project such as this one, it takes a lot more than a village. It takes an entire community. Central Berkshire Habitat for Humanity is both proud and thankful of our community and all of the local businesses, organizations, volunteers, and the people who make this community great. Together, we have helped people realize their dreams. It was a long road to bring this project to completion. Not only was the road long, but for the first time, we literally had to build the road. This project really got underway 10 years ago. Our great friends and community partners at Avangrid Foundation Berkshire Gas donated this piece of land to us. It was previously being used as a gas work site that had been remediated before donation. This site is a touchstone for memories and there are a lot of them. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't stop and share a I remember when story that always ends with the families living here are going to be so happy. These homes are so beautiful. Even after the land was donated, we were still a long way from getting this project done. Hi everyone, this is Mayor Tyre. Today is a very special day for two wonderful families who are about to embark on a new and exciting journey, home ownership. To Susan Bardo, Derek O'Keefe, Mieko Kopiek, I want to extend my warmest congratulations. Your two families are the first of six who will call Gordon Deming Village in Pittsfield their home, your home. Indeed, Gordon Deming Village symbolizes a collective effort on the part of many who fully support you and believe in your right to experience the joys of a home all your own. As we know, a home is much more than the walls that surround it. It is the place where memories are made and treasured for a lifetime. May each of your homes be filled with an abundance of love, laughter, and good times. All the best. Partnership is a key component in building community, and there is no better partnership than that of Mayor Linda Tyre's administration. Justine Dodds, program manager, and the City of Pittsville community development team all played a part in bringing this development to life. They were instrumental in helping us apply for and receive a MassWorks grant from the state, the missing resource to make this an affordable homeownership development. This grant not only had the tangible benefit of helping us solve the infrastructure needs related to the site, but this increased home production and allowed Habitat to hire on two full-time construction staff building more capacity. The Gordon Deming Village is the Habitat story of bringing people together to build homes, hope, and community. Each person or group came together at exactly the right time to move the project forward, like our friends at Berkshire Bank. How could we help Habitat expand capacity to build more homes and use more volunteers was a question Gary Levante of Berkshire Bank posed to Habitat. Here was an opportunity to be innovative and bold. Berkshire Bank has been sending volunteers to Habitat for the last 10 years on the extraordinary day of service, not just locally but statewide, and has experienced firsthand the unpredictable weather in the Berkshires. Together, we brainstormed how could we engage 150 volunteers at one location to build six affordable homes on the Gordon Deming site. It would take a great deal of logistical coordination, and what would happen if we had bad weather? The answer, a panel build. We would need a large controlled environment and storage space for the panels to stay until building permits and site work was completed. Phoenix Realty and Parasol Heating and Cooling came to the rescue and allowed us to build in their warehouses and offer up storage space for the completed panels. This allowed our extraordinary volunteers to begin building the project off-site until we were able to get our permits. Normally, Habitat will take 7 to 12 months to complete one home, building primarily with volunteers. With the heavy demand for affordable home ownership, the Board of Directors chose to use a national model called Home Builders Blitz. A Home Builders Blitz requires a substantial commitment by a well-respected construction company to partner and lead the project. Our partner was Lou E. Allegroni and Allegrone Construction. The entire Allegrone team jumped in, especially Joe Simon, project manager, Aaron Singer, project superintendent, and architect Anthony Allegroni, who designed the homes. 
The Home Builders Blitz brings together our community's professional tradesmen to build houses in an extremely quick amount of time. The Builders Blitz can construct and complete an entire ranch home in a week. There was a small problem though. We weren't building a ranch house. We were building three, two unit, two story townhomes. Those limitations may be a problem for other places, but not for our Berkshire community. Dozens of companies donated time and services and hundreds of trade volunteers worked 12 hours a day and were able to complete the impossible. Six units weathered in, one home nearly complete in the impossible timeline of just one week. But the work didn't stop there. Even today, there are professional tradesmen that are volunteering their time and talent on the site to complete the other four homes. In a time when tradespeople are hard pressed to fill their own contracts and are frequently looking for additional help, they gave back to the community Hi in everyone, a big State way. Hi everyone, State Senator Adam Hines here, and I wanted to add my congratulations to Susie and Derek, as well as Leah, Sean, and Danica, and Miko, and JJ, and Ashley. I, I think um, what we all just love about this is that it's it's an opportunity for the community to, to come together and support each other. And, uh, and there's nothing more important, especially right now, than having a, a stable home where we can come together as a family and feel secure and, uh, and, and really kind of extract all that, that comes from knowing that we can be safe. Um, so the timing couldn't be better in terms of uh, in, in my perspective. And what I love about every single one of these homes is that it's, it's setting everyone on a long-term trajectory for sustainable uh, futures, be it through financial, financial support and planning and otherwise. And um, so take advantage of all of that because the whole community is here. And that's the other part of what I love about uh, Habitat for Humanity. It's bringing together local financial institutions and local governments, the city, the state, uh, over $400,000 um, for this project from the state of Massachusetts and, and all the work that Habitat is doing. And, and of course, the, the, the sweat of local community members. So um, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you, Habitat, and thank you to everyone involved. Habitat saw another opportunity to fill a community need with a training program that would prepare the next generation of contractors with in-the-field training on construction and life skills, filling the growing employment need. The success of the first Habitat Build and Repair Corps pilot program sponsored by Lowe's, Guardian Life Insurance, and Massachusetts Service Alliance was a huge success. Applications are now being accepted for the next Habitat Build and Repair Corps, which begins in August. Build your skills and your neighborhood. Apply today. Habitat builds strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter, and no program proves that more than Women Build. Women Build is sponsored by Lowe's, gives women the opportunity to increase their knowledge, skills, and confidence in construction. While Central Berkshire Habitat for Humanity has been hosting Women Build Days for the past eight years, this will be the first home officially designated as a Women Build home. We have already talked about a tremendous amount of community members who have been an integral part of this project, but there are still plenty more generous people and businesses who are essential to getting this project complete. In all, over 75 local businesses and organizations took time, energy, and resources to help Central Berkshire Habitat for Humanity to finish these two homes. But we are far from over and still need partners to meet our mission where everyone has a place to call home. We encourage you to visit our website for a full list of our Home Builders Blitz partners. While we talk about all the hard work and dedication our community has put into this project, we certainly cannot leave out the hard work and dedication of these hardworking families and the sweat equity they have put into this process. At Habitat for Humanity, we are not giving a handout, but a hand up. Our partner families put in over 400 hours of sweat equity into their homes. So who is a typical homeowner? They're Head Start teachers, machinists, CNAs, social workers, retail workers, preschool teachers, ambulance workers, pretty much everyone. Habitat homeowners are the fabric of our community. When a family partners with Habitat, they know it is a relationship for life. We build with, not for, and Habitat stands beside homeowners every step of the way. Habitat homeownership is a journey filled with financial education, coaching, giving back to the community, 
building your financial skills as well as your home building skills. Habitat homeowners are ready to build strength, stability, and self-reliance, and of course, their homes. It's great to finally get to the dedication of your new home after all the delays. I am proud of you both for working so hard to achieve your dream of a beautiful place to live and raise your family. Seeing such nice and deserving people succeed at such a difficult task makes me very happy. You should both be very proud of yourselves when you think about all the work you put in on the long road that has led to this moment. With a new home comes new responsibilities. Care and maintenance are forever required to keep your home in shape. Luckily, there's only two types of problems that you'll encounter and only two tools you need to fix them. The first problem is when things are supposed to move, but they don't. The second problem is when things are not supposed to move, but they do. When things are supposed to move, but they don't, the tool that is needed is WD-40. And when things are not supposed to move, but they do, the tool that is needed is duct tape. Congratulations to you both. I hope you and the kids will be very happy in your brand new home. These hardworking families are looking for an opportunity to have decent, dependable, and affordable housing. With that, these families will have the opportunity to have things that we take for granted. A stable housing situation allows families the opportunity to give their children roots in one school, friendships with classmates, a quiet room to study, a place they know is their home. A mortgage payment that you can afford with just one job relieves the stress and opens up opportunities for furthering your career or education. Affordable home ownership also allows you to build an asset that can be passed down to your children, a part of the American dream that has been denied many. And as part of being a Habitat family, families have access to financial education and financial coaching to help not only today, but tomorrow and forever. Having strong financial institution partners make projects like this possible. A special thank you to Greylock Federal Credit Union and Adams Community Bank for partnering with Habitat to offer affordable home ownership financing. What started as a dream 10 years ago is now a reality. They say it takes a village, but all of us here at Central Berkshire Habitat for Humanity are forever grateful that we have much more than a village to rely on. We have a strong and giving community that cares. When challenges arise, we rise up to meet them, and the pandemic is the biggest challenge we have ever faced. Now more than ever, we see the relationship between housing and health. The goal for this year is to complete these homes and four more, and it will take all of us to make this new dream a reality. Congratulations to the first two families on all of your hard work and achieving the dream of homeownership. Wow, we're here we are again at another Habitat dedication. I am thrilled to be with you all here, even if it has to be in this virtual way. I work hard to never miss one of these dedications because I believe so much in the Habitat mission. Berkshire Habitat for Humanity is what I call the very best of us here in Berkshire County and in Pittsfield. Berkshire Habitat for Humanity not only provides a house for a family, but really works hard to provide a home for families. And in that, in turn, not only does it strengthen that family, it strengthens the neighborhood. Habitat is not one off. It works for families in the long term, helping with budgeting skills, financial literacy. And I, and I just believe in giving a family a home and what that does, especially for the children. And so, of course, the stars of today are Susie and Derek and Leah and Sean and Danica and Jas JJ and Ashley with their mom, Mieko. I, I am so thrilled for you that you have made it this far. And you have done so, of course, with all these barriers that 2020 has presented us. So it really is a very special day for you. I congratulate you. And, I, and I'm just going to give you a, a, a tiny bit of, of color here. I actually grew up um, very close uh, to, these, to, to your home now. And um, 
you know, to the kids, I, I, I got to tell you, that Deming Hill is quite the challenge. It's a challenge to go down the hill, and it's an even greater challenge to ride your bike up that hill. Um, used to go down there all the time so um, I could get to Deming Park where we, where we spent a lot of time. Um, but this is a great neighborhood with great schools, and I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled that you're all able to be able to grow up there. So I do this thing every time we do, we do a, a house dedication, and it comes from um, an old movie called It's a Wonderful Life, and it's a house blessing. And so I hope um, you'll take this in the spirit that I'm giving it, in that I really want these houses, this, this wood and plaster and steel, to, to, to not just be that, but to be a home for you. And so for each of you, bread that your homes Never no hunger. Salt that life always has flavor. And wine that joy and prosperity reign forever. Congratulations to you all. Good morning. I'm Carolyn Valley from Central Berkshire Habitat for Humanity. And we're here today for our first ever virtual live Facebook house dedication. So good morning Berkshires. We hope at this point you've already seen our roll in and if you have you've just seen Trisha Farley Bouvier presenting some gifts to the homeowners that we have in a basket over here. Um, bread that they will have always feel no hunger, uh, sparkling cider so they'll be joy, salt so they're food always tastes good and then we have these beautiful blankets presented by the United Methodist Church so that they will always feel the surrounding love and comfort of their community that made these homes possible. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to make this a really fun event. Um, <clears throat> Many of you hopefully have already seen the history of this project coming to life. But if you haven't, I'm going to hit some of the high points. And then I'm going to turn it over to um, Mark Harris, our board president, to talk a little bit about the families. There'll be time for the families to share their thoughts. And then we have some special guests that will be able to um, do some more things with us. And at the end of this production, you will see on Facebook a button to see a virtual tour so that you can see inside and look at all of the rooms at your leisure. But what a great day today has been already. I'm, this reminds me of the day we broke ground. It was warm and sunny just like this. And it's been a long road in the making here with us working on this project for 10 years. One of the things that was the deficit is the road that everybody that's gathered here is standing on. And we want to do a special thank you to the Governor Baker administration and Mayor Linda Tyers administration, especially Justine Dodds, for helping us get the MassWorks grant that made this project possible. It is really challenging to build affordable home ownership, but the grant really made the difference in us getting this together. Um, this year will be one that will be remembered for our lifetimes and for the history books. A time when shelter in place took on a magnified meaning. For your families, your homes will bring you safety and health, a stable place to educate your children. The knowledge that as a homeowner you're building equity and wealth that you can pass down to your children. Opportunities that have far too long been denied to many. These two families will be moving from substandard rental units into safe homes that have been built with love from the inception, with care and thought about aging in place, multi-generational living, high efficiency, and sustainable building materials. This is designed to be a community that values working together across barriers that goes back to the roots of Habitat for Humanity in 1976. And the Gordon Deming Village has been a series of firsts. This is our very first cluster multi-unit development, and we can thank our friends at Avangrid Foundation Berkshire Gas for the land donation. As I already mentioned, this is the first time we've had to build an infrastructure, and I've already thanked the administration for that and their commitment to affordable housing.
It takes a vision, cooperation, and hard work to make all of the pieces come together to develop an affordable home ownership project. And we are deeply grateful for the support of the Community Development Department and the conservation staff. And I would like to do a special mention to Justine Dodds, who is a true partner in believing in the vision and willing to work toward that common goal of making this beautiful home a reality. I encourage anyone who has not seen the YouTube video of this project to view it to hear the remarkable way community came together to build this village. Another first, Berkshire Bank supported our first panel build that led to our workforce training program and we're happy to say one of our training graduates is employed by Habitat and is here today to share the joy with us. Pittsville Cooperative Bank allowed us to use their land on Elm Street so that we had staging for our first ever home builder splits. And Allegrone Construction, and you'll get to see two of their fabulous people, Joe Simon, project manager extraordinaire, and Aaron Singer, project superintendent, cannot be beat, this guys. Um, Allegrone Construction took the lead on bringing the home builders blitz together, coordinating bringing over 75 professional trades companies into participating in this build so far. Please visit our website to see these companies and if you need a building project please consider them. They really care about their community. They have a heart and in just a few minutes you'll be able to see the great workmanship they do. And I also need to do a special shout out to Zeitler Plumbing and Pittsfield Pipers for their continued work on the remaining homes. We have four homes that would not be moving along without them. And we are taking applications to purchase these beautiful homes and become part of the Habitat family. So Habitat brings people together to build homes, hope, and community. And I want to say a special thanks to the companies that have partnered with our affiliate for over 10 years. Paracel Heating and Cooling, Ram Electric, Berkshire Communicators, Nash Enterprises, Lock Shop, and Tatro Flooring. Their commitment means the world to us. Greylock Federal and Adams Community Bank are the mortgage financing leader, lenders that are providing financial support for this project and financing all six homes. They're allowing um, uh, such favorable terms that the total monthly payment for these four bedroom units will be about $1,012 with taxes, insurance, and homeowners association dues included. And a special thanks to Lee Bank for their financial commitment to the project. I'm going to give Mark an opportunity to talk a little bit about the families and then he'll give it back to me. It's my pleasure to be here today to introduce the families. To introduce the families, to my left is Susie Bartow and Derek O'Keefe. Um, and their three children are down on the lawn, Leah, Sean, and Danica. Susie has worked at McDonald's for almost five years and Derek has worked nearly ten years at AGA, AGI Poly Matrix molding in Pittsfield. They started their application with Habitat in May of 2018 and have worked for over two years to build their credit score and strengthen their budget. They first started to think about home ownership so they could build a safer future for their children. Their apartment complex has no safe outdoor space for the kids to play or ride their bikes. And I think their son actually told me he wants a motorcycle a little while ago. Their apartment is too, was too small for the three growing children and it often exacerbated Danica's allergies. They have put in 500 hours of sweat equity in this process. And on my right is Mieko Kopiak and her daughters Jessica and Ashley. Mioka has worked for over six years for Berkshire Extended Care Services and often takes on long shifts to provide for her family. She has had to move several times to find safe housing and make unaffordable rent payments to keep her girls in a safe neighborhood. She started her application with Habitat in October of 2019 and has completed close to 300 hours of sweat equity to date. She and the girls will still be volunteering with Habitat, Habitat on the remaining Gordon Deming homes. She, is excited to be able to give the girls a room of their very own. And the girls both said to me earlier today that they're very excited about having those rooms. Um, I'd, I'd like to take this time to remind everybody that the Bible tells us that we should 
help people that are in need. In Romans 12, 13, it says, when God's children are in need, you be the one to help them out. So that's a command to all of us. And in Deuteronomy, yeah, Deuteronomy 15, 11, for there will never cease to be poor in the land. Therefore, I command you shall open wide your hand to your brother, to the needy and to the poor in your land. And I'm here to tell you that everybody that has participated in this project has done those things for these people to help them improve the lives for their families and going forward in their lives. And it really is a truly remarkable event. As Carolyn mentioned, this project has been in the works for over 10 years. The Builders Blitz, which happened uh, several months ago, sep when? September. September. My wife and I went out of town on a Friday. We passed by this lot. It was an empty lot. When we came back on Monday, two and a half buildings were up. And that was over a weekend. It was an amazing sight to see in such a short period of time that that much got accomplished. And all of the people that participated in that event and ongoing since then, and even since COVID, we've managed to get this far where these people are very close to moving into their homes today. What a remarkable, remarkable thing that's happening here. Congratulations to you all. So we have had some very special donors that saw the possibilities here and had such extreme faith that we would be able to get this done and they stayed the course in providing seed funding to get this project off the ground. A special thanks to the Zaccaro family, the Coelho family and the Levine family for your designated gifts that allowed us to begin this project. Our core volunteers, volunteer groups, women build, and team groups make a significant impact on our ability to build not just this project, but throughout Berkshire County. And we are grieving the fact that many have not been able to be on site for months. We miss you, we value you, and we are anxious to welcome you back. Central Berkshire Habitat has an incredible dedicated staff that go the extra mile every day. This pandemic has showed the depth of their commitment their skills and compassion as a team and as individuals. They never faltered but looked at each challenge as an opportunity to serve our community with respect and dignity. I'd like to call our, um, not all of our staff is here today, we had limits on who could be here. I'd like to ask our construction manager and um, Brent Getchell and Miguel to come up and our home buyer services folks, um, our impact manager Beth Frederick and Libby Boise and Raven, if you could also come on up. Raven does all of our IT and videoing and putting up with me going, Raven, I can't make it work. So I really appreciate, appreciate his skill set. So if we could just give a little round of applause for our staff. Thank you. <clears throat> so thank you, Team Habitat. You are the best of all of us. So I'm going to turn this over now to our home buyer selection, our home buyer partnership to do the next piece. Beth and Libby. So first of all, Libby and I have had the pleasure of working with both of these families and they've become our family. And so they do the hard work. They, they you know, save up the money, they come and they do their sweat equity. They figure out their family lives while doing the sweat equity and getting ready to get into their homes. So we just, it's a privilege to be able to welcome you into your new homes. And so we just have, we have the practical gifts. So um, the first gift would be the manual. So each of you has a homeowner's manual and inside are all the manuals for all your appliances. There's the warranty cards, which are very important. And also it gives you information about your community, when your garbage is picked up, when, your, when the snow removal is gonna be done on the street, all that kind of thing. So that's the first thing. The next thing is that Procter & Gamble is one of our partners and they will give each family a lot of cleaning supplies, um, paper towels, which are very hard to find right now, and um, just cleaning supplies to get you to have a clean home, a clean and safe home. And then we also have in each of these kits, we have a small tool kit because when you have to do those tiny fix-ups or repairs, you are prepared. You have your screwdriver, hammer, and things like that. And 
then is that and the last thing is we have a small first aid kit especially with the young ones we, we always need a band-aid so we have first aid and keep everybody safe yeah it's been a long road and i was so excited to be there from the first steps for all of you guys and for all the hard work you've put in um, we just want to welcome you to your home so we have lovely flower baskets that came from some of our other volunteers and welcome mats that also came from other office volunteers john and marcia who you've met um, so they just wanted to welcome you into their new homes um, so we're so excited and i'll let you guys say a few words. Just want to say thank you to everyone that helped build, put the houses together, Habitat for helping us get this far, Jim Duffy for the financial advice and everything that he's done for us, and everyone that's helped volunteer and help us put in some of the work. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mieko. I am Jeff. I am just as excited and nervous as I was since I started this program from day one. All I can think about is how great this program is and amazing an opportunity to be a part of this program. I've learned new skills and I've met so many friendly and kind people. I am finally able to buy my own house and as a single man with two kids, that is what I never thought I would do too. Now, owning this home feels like a new beginning to our story. We are excited about finally being able to have a pet at home and having enough room for our own personal space. I'd like to say thank you to Habatai the builders, volunteers, construction teams, and everyone else involved, and Sharon who introduced me to this program, and a special thank you to Beth, helping me out everything. Thank you very much, and congratulations to Suzy and Derek too. Thank you very much. For deeply blessed to be able to be here today to finally be able to give you the key to your new home and welcome you to the home ownership and uh, if you ever need to call on us for anything feel free to call we're always available and even if it's just to talk about being a new homeowner so congratulations
morning. On behalf of Allegroni Construction, we're pleased to be able to offer our services throughout the entire project and to congratulate you on being a new homeowner. And uh, it's great to see that you'll be able to be finally become one of the group. And uh, we wish you the best of luck along your way and you have a great yard to play in and you have a good spot to raise your children. Thank you very much. Thank you, you very go. much.